Now, to talk more about the job situation on both sides of the border, we're joined by Nick Bottas from McMaster's DeGroote School of Business. Good afternoon, Nick. Happy Friday. You too. Now, not a, a happy Friday yeah. for a lot of people out of work. When you hear the jobless numbers, like 71,000 full-time jobs gone in Canada last month, what do you think? Like, is, is this our lowest point? Or are we going to see more? Well, I mean, there's bad news and good news. The bad news is that, obviously, the full-time jobs are the worst ones to actually lose. The, and I also think that this is not over, that it will probably last probably maybe at least until April, May, or June in terms of more job losses. I think there's a little bit of good news. I'm trying to be a little bit positive here. Um, people are fearful that this is the next depression, that we're going back to 1929. Well, let's remind everybody, back then, unemployment rate was 25%, so one right. in four people were out of jobs. So we're nowhere near that. Canada still is the only G7 country to have a budget surplus and I still think that's good news because as soon as Obama gets in power and then the new federal budget in Canada comes along they're gonna the government's gonna offer new training programs for those people that are out of work so I think we're trying to do our best for those people that are out of work mm -hmm. it seems very much like we're caught up in this vortex from south of the border what can we expect our federal government to reasonably do to soften this crisis for us I, I guess a lot's gonna come out January 27th well I think the positioning is that we don't want to go into deficit that we want to stay in a surplus position but at the same time we want to reallocate some of that extra funding to help developmental programs and what are called transitioning programs. So these are people that may have worked in a particular sector. Imagine working in the auto sector for 20 years of your life and then all of a sudden saying, oh, I've got to learn a new skill or I've got mm -hmm. to adopt some sort of new knowledge worker mentality. So that's a very difficult transition and the government's willing to help those people. Okay, thanks very much. Some timely advice from Nick Bond is from the DeGroote School of Business.